Chris Lemon, and your last chance today to see the question that could win you £10,000 in cash and £5,000 to spend it is me. Here's a question you need to get right to begin with a chance of winning. Who of the following was Queen Victoria married to? Was it A, Prince Albert, B, Prince Charles, or C, Prince William? Call 09012 931941. Calls cost no more than £1 and 3 pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Text your answer, A, B, or C, to 63303. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message. You can also enter for free at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at 11 a.m. on Monday the 30th of January will not be counted, but may still be charged. And the best of luck with that. Now, time to meet our final guest, whose name became well-known back in the 80s as the poster boy for American wrestling. With his white blonde hair, bodybuilder physique and trademark bandana, not to mention his countless wins in the ring, he was and still is the most recognizable wrestler on the planet. Massive, massive names in our industry's history and legacy with both these guys and uh, neither of them would make... I doubt they'll make any mistake. They won't do anything risky or stupid in that regard of, you know, lose their cool. Hogan hooks up in the face of Sting. God, Hogan just blew this place up. And the crotch chop fires up the insane icon. Shirt in the face of Flair, and here we go. Please welcome Hulk Hogan! Oh, all right. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Wow, thank you. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Welcome. I, my Twitter, Facebook has been blown up with crazy, loose women. Yeah. You guys have your act together. Yeah. I mean, I was yeah. expecting insanity, but you guys are beautiful, and you have your act together, and you, you're total control. Oh, thank it's you. Really yeah. So thank welcome you. to this show. No, oh, my show. God. <laughs> and why did you just show me beating up my friend Sting? Oh, sorry. Oh, is that how okay. it is in wrestling? Are you all actually friends and you sort of... Oh, A lot of the guys you? are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how does it work? Because when I, I remember you in, in the 80s and it, we used to watch it on a sort of Saturday afternoon. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, and I, I, I admired then how old I've been, about, I don't know, 12 or something. Okay. It was all the, all the boys and girls loved it, but it was the old ladies in the front row. Yeah, well, they go for, for it, it. don't they? The well, yeah, it's, it's kind of changed because, you know, we didn't, didn't want to insult the audience. And we let everybody know that it's predetermined, and we know who's going to win and lose, duh. Uh -huh. And so all of a sudden, all the crazies in the front row, like the old ladies that were mean, you know, yeah. Yeah. or the beer drinkers and the yeah. cigar smokers, they kind of disappeared, uh, right. and the family showed up. Yes. And the kids were, and it was okay to cheer for the, you know, good so guys. So it became more like theater. Yeah, it was more of a, exactly. Pantomime, I suppose. Exactly. Oh. Is, is there a, a, you know, a, do you decide, right, I'm going to be a goodie? And I'm going to be a baddie. This is, that, this is what my role is going to be. Well, sometimes it works that way. Sometimes the promoter or the people involved creatively will decide. But we kind of, you know, take a good look at the person, get to know them. And then, you know, you can tell where their edge is or, or where the, the logical extension of their personality would, would, would take them. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of easy. Now, I want to ask you something. Does anyone ever deviate from the, you know, you say you know the outcome of the bouts before. What if someone doesn't play by the rules? That has happened. <laughs> That, that has happened, and yeah. I mean, back in the day, we had a conversation this morning about that. Um, back in the day, in the, in the 70s and 80s, if someone did that, they would be given a, a very hard time in the back by the other wrestlers. Oh. But nowadays, you know, it's, uh, they just will fire you and do what's politically correct, you know, okay. and there's no rough stuff going on. So what, What's it, changed then in the 30 years, would you say, in wrestling? In the business as yeah, a whole? Yeah, yeah. Um, the business thing. moves quicker because there's so many choices in entertainment with shows like yours and cable mm. and satellite. People have so many different choices mm -hmm. that the wrestling storylines have to move a lot quicker to, to hold the attention of the audience. So that's the biggest change I've seen is things move very fast. Like if I had an uh, argument with Andre the Giant, well, then <laughs> seven or eight months from now, we'd have the big fight. Right. Well, nowadays, if you have an argument with Andre the Giant at the top of the hour, by the, by the end of the show, you have the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so things, things move a lot quicker. Yeah. I've got two things for you. Firstly, you smell good. Whoa. <laughs> hey, you know what was so oh. cool? Denise was in the back, and she goes, oh, my gosh, Hulk, you're making my blood pressure go up. Really? Yeah. She really fancied you. Know? Yeah, that was oh, way cool. And what's the, other, what's the other thing? And the other thing is, how much wrestling do you do now? Are you still... Not much. Not much. Um, I'm 58 years old. 
Yeah. And, uh, and, and I had a couple really rough years. I had eight back surgeries. Oh, and so that little thing you saw me do on yeah. TV, that was a few months back. And it wasn't a whole lot of wrestling. Like I said, Sting was my friend. So, <laughs> so he took care of me. But in the old days, I'd wrestle 300 days a year. <clears throat> but uh, nowadays, I'm more or less kind of in the back, you know, helping with the creative and the direction. Mm -hmm. So the company's called TNA, and we're doing great. Mm -hmm. So because you're bringing it over to the UK. Is it, is yeah, it Wembley, yeah. It's, it's, we're in Nottingham Thursday, Friday, Manchester, and then we've got the big, big show in Wembley. So in London how, here how many times are you going to wrestle this year and, and <clears throat> on this tour? On this tour, I'm going to get involved. Believe me. I've, I've, I let everybody know it was a last-minute thing that I, that I was coming over. I had another surgery <clears throat> a few weeks ago with a dental mistake that happened and so all of a sudden I got clearance to fly mm. and so they put me on the card and so I'm gonna hit Nottingham first Thursday and then in Manchester. Not literally Nottingham. No, I mean, yeah, so, so all the fans are really excited and then in, in Manchester and Wembley we're definitely going to yeah. give them a good dose of no, Hulkamania. In America, it's absolutely massive wrestling, isn't it? It's absolutely huge. Do, do you hope it will happen like that over here as well? Is that what you're, you're over here to do, to well, transform us all? it's huge here also. It is, but I mean... I mean, it, it is big. The fans are the best fans in the world. And then televisually, you know, because it's a new thing for television, isn't it, over here? Well, you know, the TV ratings are really, really high, but oh. we're focusing more on the, the live venues. Oh, right, and okay. bringing more events over because, I mean, you know, the TV is piped in, the numbers are huge. Um, Impact Wrestling is the highest rated wrestling right. show in the UK. But the thing is, now you need to service the market. Yeah. And we need to come over here more because the fans are so good. We need to come over here more often. So that's what we're gearing up to and do it's now. It's a family night out. Yes, it is. Saying, so and, so uh, I've got a 10 year old son. The, the... Oh, it'd be fine. Brilliant. Yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, Definitely. Now, I read that you've even got an artificial hip. Right. Yeah, I've got... Uh, I have Thanks for bringing that up. No, I, what I want to know is, you're 58, how can you put your body through this? Aren't you I, worried that another bit might snap off? I know. I'm like the, I'm like the Terminator now. But, <laughs> but, I, but I had a knee replacement like yeah. 15 years ago, and they said, you're not allowed to wrestle anymore. You've got yeah. a knee replacement. So I went crazy, and I kept wrestling. Mm -hmm. And then in Japan, I landed wrong on the concrete and oh my goodness. blew my hip out. So oh. I, got a, I got a hip replacement, and they said, oh, you can't wrestle anymore. You've got a knee and hip hip replacement and I kept going and then after eight back surgeries they said oh you can never wrestle again so I went hmm <laughs> and maybe I went they're and right full of fuel. yeah maybe they are <laughs> you've had such a massive career like you've been in you're a movie star you've had television series is that how you keep yourself going and you, you get bored with one thing and go to another or is it just part of the same thing well I, I kind of try to keep reinventing myself mm -hmm. and um, I've always been very lucky to, to find the next lightning bolt to jump on you know so um i was very fortunate to get involved with a lady named dixie carter actually a, a lady is my boss which is really cool quite right and she uh she loves the wrestling business so this is her dream her company and i'm just here to help her so i'm riding this lightning bolt and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger so <laughs> it's, it's like i could hang out forever well, you know, right. we could have you here forever, but we've run out of time. But we, you may well see us ladies in the front row yeah. with our hands. So yeah. 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 if, yeah. yeah. if you guys really want to come, we can definitely oh, set you up. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. It's Hulk Hogan, everyone. All right. <laughs> okay, that is it for today. We'll see you tomorrow at 12.30. But don't forget, we'll give you all the gossip about tonight's NTAs. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.